Okay, here we are with the WWZ hosted summer fun series. We are at Road Atlanta in the GT4. Um, I hate this car. I hate this car so much. I can't even tell you how much I hate this car. However, it's the car that uh, I've been dealt. Um, and I have to suffer the indignity of having this ugly 89 guy in front of me uh, at the start here. Hey, Rob. Um, so <laughs> so uh, we'll see how we go. Um, Mason Green is controlling the start as per usual practice. 50 minutes, P12. The uh, other fun thing here is that uh, I had a good heater going on in my second qualifying lap, and I touched... Follow car number 89 in the left touched, column. Touched grass, got a 1x, invalidating the lap. Which sucked. Okay, Chip. Be ready. Go! We'll break a little early here on the first lap. Oh, that's Rick Reinsberg. I trust him. Cool. Eight, nine. Come on by me, Rick. Thank you. Come on, Chip. Don't let him get away. Tenth position. This car likes to just float. I have to drive a car that I trust, and I do not trust this car at all. I really have no idea where it's gonna go. Like seriously, no idea. I mean, I'm making suggestions. I, I liken this to riding a horse. I don't like riding horses much either for the same reason. As you can suggest, 
where you want to go. But whether or not the horse listens to you is a whole other thing. I got Mark Lacombe and Enrico breathing down my neck. And I suspect both of them are a little bit quicker than I am. So it really comes down to how long I want to hold them up from the inevitable. Like that was horrible. Horrible chicane. I am chasing Volker though because he is club, so we're same class. Thank you, Captain Obvious. For AI, he isn't very smart. See Jeff back there too. That's disappointing, but shit happens. Keep pushing. I don't know if audio keeps cutting out on my recording, because I think it's system-wide, but I keep losing audio. Just for a moment, comes back. So if that's irritating later, know that I apologize. Yellow flag, caution.
Ignore that fucker in the mirror. Stick to your line. Nail those exits. P10. Enrico's a friend, though. Wouldn't call him a name like that. Maybe in dark moments. Another audio cutout. It's really weird. Come on, Chip. Keep pushing, we might get him back. Sorry, Derek, didn't mean to chop your nose off. My father said clear. P11. Chip, you need to pass this trap, you're losing too much time. That's bad.
Damn it. Keep getting tire spin coming out of the exit there. I'm gonna continue to screw the pooch. That just sucks. Such a momentum car. If you make one tiny mistake, it costs you like a half second a lap easy. Just like crazy. One of the reasons that I really hate this car. One of the many. Some would argue that I'm not a good enough driver to drive this car well. <laughs> And I would probably agree with them. Jeff is driving his ass off, man. Rico slowing down. Okay, Chip. Don't let this guy distract you. Come on, Chip. I chicken-footed that for sure. Not really sure why.
That felt weird, so I got on the gas really late there. Alright, Chip. <laughs> the pit window is now open. Williams, it's getting closer. The gap's now 1.3 seconds. Pit lane speed limit is 45 miles per hour. That was kind of crappy. I couldn't find my pit limiter. I flashed my lights instead of hitting my pit limiter. 300 feet. 100 feet. That's a D-minus re-entry there. Pit exit's clear. Don't cross the white line. Sixteen. Thank you, Johan. The gap in front has increased to six point nine seconds. Okay, Chip. Halfway home. We've got plenty of fuel.
sector one is 0.6 off the pace. Gap to Maka behind is now 9.2 seconds, 15th place. That just is bad. Having to lift that hard through there just sucks. Get the line just wrong and it stops making sense. The gap ahead is now 5.2. Sector 2 is 0.5 off the pace. There we are. Sector 1 is 0 0.38 off the pace. Sector 2 is 0 0.47 off the pace. OK, Chip. There's a car exit in the pits. Heads up. P12, that lap was a 126.12. The leader is pitting now. 20 minutes remaining, you've got 20 minutes left. Another sloppy roll through the S's. The gap's now 2.5. Sector 2 is 0.9 off the pace. But 
heads up. There's a car exit in the pits. The car ahead's pitting now. P11. Got a little bit of draft. Thank you. Nice one, Chip. Great move. Keep it up. These cars do not move like the GT3R. Let's see how wide you can make this thing. Tenth position. Gotta get a good exit here, gotta get a good exit. Gave me the dummy. <laughs> and I made a mistake.
Come on, push like a bastard. We'll get this guy. P11. better exit through there. I was off a wrong line there on turn uh, five, I think it is. flag. That was kind of scary. Keep driving, Chad. Give me a tow. Oh, that was my one axe. Shit. Yellow flag. Went off. Turn one. Oh, sorry, Mark. That was a good race. Oh, that was Mark. Two seconds. P10. The gap to backer behind is now 1.9 seconds. Trapped you for a second here, Joe.
Thank you, sir. Yeah, thanks, Joe. He's reeling you in. The gap's now 0 0.47. Look, Chip. Come on, don't let him get away. The gap to back up ahead is increasing. It's now 1.6. Slight detour. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to see here. We're all okay. That's right. Thank you, Han.
That's right. Thank you, Owen. Just two minutes left, two minutes to go. That's right. Thank you. Okay, Chip. Five minutes of fuel remaining. Five minutes. White flag. One more to go. Williams is closing in. The gap is now 6.5 seconds. Two minutes to go, two minutes. Thank you. Nice race, everyone. Did you want all the, the fuel the reference? We'll get him next time. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. So did you hear? What was that, Volker? So did you hear? And I thought I'd make good move. <laughs> so that was the race. Um, so started a uh, P12 overall. Finished P10 overall. Um, I know Volker is a club driver, so I think he's the only club driver ahead of me in the standings. So that means I got second in class. 
Uh, and, but of course, technically Enrico, he's sport, but he drives club. Um, so uh, I would consider it an honest third uh, in terms of uh, people that outclassed me. Uh, unless you want to be really mean to Rob Cottle and, and say that he actually is in the, the same class, in which case he won uh, in that class of drivers. But uh, overall, it's a, a pretty tight bunch. Um, a lot of uh, folks in the mid-25s in terms of fastest lap, um, which is pretty cool. Um, and uh, didn't quite get down into the average 27s. But, you know, that is what it is. Um, overall, a good, a good outing. Um, I was really bummed when I got that first 1X uh, because seeing Mark Lacombe, I, I couldn't quite figure out, I couldn't judge exactly where he was in the roadway, so I couldn't figure out if I could go left or right. And um, that pause put me in a wrong position where I actually I cut a little and uh, got the first 1X. And then after that, I didn't care so much and wound up having a couple of forays through the grass, um, one coming into the S's uh, and then one there at the very end where uh, um, Yakum uh, um, was <laughs> out of fuel and wasn't really sure where he was going. He took the inside line and so I had to go outside and I not used to taking the outside through that particular turn and it put me off on exit and wound up in the grass so I got another 1x so three total not horrible and uh, you know a couple of them were just sort of like stupid things um and uh kept the the car off the wall which is the important part and didn't spin it around which is also an important aspect of finishing uh finishing for fairly decently um pit stop could have gone a lot better um, couldn't find my pit button, <laughs> so I entered pits a little slower than I probably should have, which cost me probably a second and a half to two seconds uh, uh, in total stop time, which then translated back onto the track. I should have, should have um, gotten uh, both Volker and en Enrico um, with my pit stop um, if I had been on my game, and it's just I'm rusty still. So um, we'll see how it goes. Um, getting there. Um, we should have a little bit of fun. Um, and uh, there's a lot of racing left to do. The next race is going to be at Laguna Seca. Same car, GT4. Again, my least favorite car. Laguna Seca is one of my favorite tracks. And th that's actually one of the things that actually bugs me most about this GT4 is it can make one of your favorite tracks a nightmare because you just can't perform on it. So I'm not looking forward to next week except for the fact that it's two heat races. Um, the heat races, the way that the format goes is you qualify for the first race, the first heat, which is a 20 minute heat. And then the outcome of the first race determines the grid. And I believe that we are reversing the top eight. Um, so we're inverting uh, the, the top eight from race one in the start of race two, which should make for some interesting competition. Although um, unless I get my mad speed on, it's probably only going to affect the pros in terms of making the race kind of interesting up at the front. Um, but uh, uh, Laguna Seca is a tough track on a good day uh, in a car that you love. Um, if you're in a car that you don't enjoy so much or you don't trust so much, um, it's, it's definitely a challenge. So it's going to be a lot of practice for the next two weeks. But before that, we have the six hours at uh, the Glen that is tomorrow morning at O Dark 30. Uh, we have to log in, be ready for that. Um, so uh, uh, Schadenfreude fodder will be... Uh, in full effect um, with uh, Rob Cottle, Jeff Williams, Jeff Rosenthal, and me. And uh, we should have a good, fun uh, six hours um, of our day uh, on track tomorrow. So we'll let you know how that goes. I don't think I'm going to record that because my machine starts getting weird if I get past a couple of hours in record and it just it always goes badly. So rather than suffer the performance drag, I think I'm just going to say I'm not recording it. Um, may do some highlights via replays um, and uh, show you guys how we did, especially if we do well. And uh, otherwise, um, I'll just report back next time I record a video. Thank you very much for watching again. If you, uh, you dig what you saw, um, give me a good thumbs up. Um, I love that stuff. Um, if you have comments um, you want to share in the video, uh, please go ahead and uh, go ahead and comment away. Just so you know, I do um, reserve the right and actually do um, uh, pre-read, mod uh, moderate the, the comments so that, you know, there's no jackassery in terms of people commenting on my videos and it showing up on my channel and embarrassing somebody, myself or, or anybody else associated with me. So I do moderate all comments. So if there's a delay in a comment showing up on a video, um, do, not, um, do, not, do not feel too bad. 
Um, I'll review it. And um, obviously, if you're a friend that watches my videos on a regular basis, I want to hear your comments and they will be approved on the channel, even if they're critical. I just don't want any profanity or racial things or other sorts of things. And sometimes you just can't control that very easily. So enough said. Um, give me a like, give me a comment, and if you like what you see, you like this type of video, uh, go ahead and subscribe because I am publishing again. I'm back racing, so yeehaw. Thanks for watching. Take care. Spaß machen Rennsport.